Welcome to One Play's review of Archim, Realms at War. With evil forces at your doorstep, you must repel them all the while working with other players to ascend your shared realm. Mixing new mechanics and stunning visuals with familiar tropes, this game will surely keep you in for hours. But will that get you some EOS in return though? Find out in this video. Unlike other management sims or military strategies, Arkham puts cooperation in its core. Instead of challenging other players or only taking care of your settlement, your goal is to train, fight and strategize future expansion together with others. That however doesn't mean that there is no room for individual rewards. Like in many classic mobile strategies, you will have limited resources used for upgrades and troops. There are also sapphires, valuable gems that can unlock certain perks, like building slots or potent magical scrolls. It's fairly easy to accumulate all of these. Invest in production-related buildings, mastery levels and supplies more than military stuff and command your fallen warriors in the dungeons to collect valuable loot. Don't forget to put what you find there to good use. Equip the items and stack subfires for the future. There is really no need to use them until you get to the second island. What you really want to hoard though, and only skill can help you here, are arcane orbs. Orbs are essentially your passes. With every new moon phase, you ascend to a higher island, closer to the end goal, the Eternal Light Kingdom. Orbs come exclusively from your own towers or assaults and goblins fortifications on the world map. To mine more orbs, you will have to upgrade the tower. It is a collective effort and every ascended in the realm can contribute. However, keep in mind that, well, there are a lot of towers. That easily translates into thousands of resources that you need to set aside just for that. Okay, just this once. I call next. <coughs> The faster way would just be taking a few hundred orbs from Goblin. That, however, is a taxing venture. You will need at least six or seven warlords with rather strong armies for the attack. It will, however, bring you much closer to the end goal, activating the ascension gates. But what about crypto, you might ask? Luckily, there's no need to slay demons or goblins for that. The only thing you need is one plate. For every milestone you clear, you can get thousands of Wombugs to convert into EOS later on. If you follow your quest book closely, you will start stacking these in no time. And you can still earn Wombugs for playtime, even after you reach the endgame. For more info, find Arkham in Wombly Favorites and tap or click on Show Details. Arkham feels much more like a classic desktop RPG with turn-based combat and dungeon raids. At times, these less casual elements make it seem more complex than anything we've had on OnePlay so far. But this game rewards players in abundance for progress, without restricting them, even though the moon phases aren't infinite. For its refreshing balancing, generosity and focus on cooperation, we give it 5 out of 5 Wombugs for earning score. The OnePlay dungeon is closed for now, but we will come back. Subscribe if you liked the video and join our Wombat Gamer server for the latest announcements 